how the harvest day came about. Amen. In the book of Leviticus 23, 1 and 2, the scripture says, The Lord spake to Moses, saying, The feast of the Lord, which you shall proclaim to be holy convocation, these are my feasts, they holy convocations. Holy con all convocation is an in gathering of the saints. We've known about holy convocations. We hear those about things over in Memphis with the Church of God in Christ. But all it is is a gathering for a believer. Amen. Holy convocations. The feasts of those times were sacred times for believers, and each one was symbolic and a sacrifice made unto God. So there were many feasts that they were having, and they were symbolic and they were sacrificial feasts. To God, Amen. So, me sacrifice me if it, it was giving up something, Amen. And so, the first one, it was one of them. It was called the, the Sabbath. And see, on, on in the, the scripture that goes, but that said that on six days that a man shall work. Somebody say work. work, shall work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath of solemn rest and holy convocation. It said that you shall not do work on it. It's the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. Well, see, the Sabbath was the first one, but the last one was the year of Jubilee. The last one, that was the 50th year, and it proclaimed liberty for those who were serving. Somebody say workers. workers. Because of debt and return land to their former owners. And so it was, like I said in the beginning, it was many um, feasts that was going on. And so all of them was symbolic for, for something that was a sacrifice to God. Amen. They was giving up something for God. Now in Exodus 3, 23 and 14 through 7, the word said, God told them, and three times a year, you shall keep a feast unto me. It said, you shall keep the feast of unleavened bread. So that means that for, for so many days, for seven days, God commanded them to eat unleavened bread. In our terms, that's flat bread. Right. Amen. Because the only thing that makes bread rise is yeast. Right. And so he said, for seven days, as a sacrifice unto me, you are to eat the feast of unleavened bread. Right. He said, at the time of a bee, but that means when, when grain is ripe. So and for them, you to, for it was a symbolic of the celebration for when they came out of Egypt. And he said, no one shall appear before me empty. Say empty. empty. I'm going somewhere. The, the last one was the Feast of Engathering. And it was at the end of the year when you have gathered in the fruits of your labor from the field. Somebody say labor. labor. That means somebody was working. But right before the Feast of Engathering, it was the Feast of the Harvest. Also known as the Feast of Weeks. And in that feast is why we're celebrating today. They gave the first fruits of their labor, their works to God. Uh -huh. That took a place around 50 days, even after the, the barley harvest, and involved sacrificing the grains to the Lord. Right. And so on harvest day, what they did all the time when they had worked and they had sown, they was giving God offering or sacrifices. So in other words, they was giving God his blessings and his praises off the top. Amen. 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 Now, so in order to reap in the harvest, somebody had to be sowing. Come on, man. Yeah. Come on. Amen, Well, In order to reap a benefit, somebody got to be putting in work. <laughs> so the Bible said that in Matthew 9 and 37, Jesus had been teaching in the synagogues and he had been going around professing and proclaiming the word of his father. And he was moved with compassion because some people was wandering around like sheep with no shepherd. And, and he said, the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. So I mean, there's a lot of benefit out there, but ain't nobody working. Not be weary in well doing, for in due season yes. we 
shall reap if we faint not. Yeah. Yep. Amen. So harvest day is the day to celebrate yeah. if you are a worker in the vineyard. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Can I get a praise for God if you are a worker? Amen. Why don't you give God a hand praise? 